Hello my dears welcome back how are you all hope you are safe and healthy are you ready for today's class okay very good today we are going to learn about a new poem daddy fell into a pond written by alfred noyes first let's learn more about the poet alfred noyes alfred noyes the renowned english poet short story writer and playwright who was born in Wolverhampton, England. His well-known works include The Highwayman and The Barrel Organ. He was honored with Dilich by Yale University in 1913. Okay my dears, let's move on to the text page number 166. I'll reset the poem. You listen carefully and recite with me. Daddy fell into the pond. Everyone grumbled. The sky was gray. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day and there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then Daddy fell into the pond. And everyone's face grew merry and bright. and Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera kick, oh kick. He is crawling out of the duck beat click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and tabled up shaking silently and the ducks all talked as if they were daft and it sounded as if the old drake laughed. Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't respond when daddy fell into the pond. Okay dears, did you get the idea of the poem? Oh, you don't worry, I will explain it. Listen here, everyone crumbled and the sky was grey. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day and there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then daddy fell into the pond. Dismal day means sad day. Listen here, everyone was grumbled. Grumbled means to make deep, continuous complaining sounds. Everyone in the poet's family were boring because they had nothing to do and nothing to say. That's why the whole day was boring to them. But near the end of the day, the poet's father fell into the pond and everyone burst out laughing. Okay, my dears, what will you do when you face such a situation? Yes, very good, definitely. You will take some remedial measures to escape that person. Okay, but here everyone was laughing at him. because they had nothing to do and nothing to say the all day was extremely dismal and boring for them okay now let's move on to the second stanza listen here and everyone's face grew merry and bright and timothy danced for sheer delight give me the camera kick o oh, kick He is crawling out of the duck beach. Click. Okay, my dears, listen here. By seeing the falling of daddy into the pond, everybody's face became bright with sheer delight. Sheer delight means great happy. Timothy, who is one of the family members of the poet, danced with joy by seeing this. Then he called out for a camera to take a photo of the scene, the father crawling out of the duckweed. Duckweed is a small plant grows in the surface of a still water. At last, he could take a photo. Okay, my dears, shall we move to the next stanza? Listen here. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up shaking silently. And the ducks all cut as if they were daft, and it sounded as if the old drake laughed. 
Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't respond when daddy fell into the pond. Okay, my dears, listen here. I will explain it. The gardener also slapped his knee and laughed silently by saying this. Slap means to hit with one's palm. Here the gardener hit his palms on his knees by his uncontrolled laughing and double up. Double up means to bend. The old ducks quacked like they were in a daft. Daft means mad or silly. Here the poet says that the ducks quacked like they were in a mad condition. The poet describes that the sound of ducks is like the laughing of a drake. Drake means male duck. When daddy fell into the pond, there was nobody remained without responding. Okay my dears, what will you do if you have to face such a situation? Definitely you will try to escape the person from the pond or you will seek the help of others. Am I right? Okay my dears, always you should try to be a kind-hearted person. Okay dear students, listen to me once more I will give the theme of the poem. In the first stanza, make it very clear that the children and the all other family members are feeling bored. Nobody has anything to do or anything to talk about and the day just passes by like any other boring day. The second stanza portrays the reactions of the members of the family when daddy falls into the pond. Some are very happy, some laugh aloud, some get so excited that they shout at each other to get the camera for a natural click. The third stanza talks about the gardener who also enjoys the incident. Okay my dears, now is the time to wind up today's class. We will meet in the next class. Thank you.